Join me in this episode as I take a look back at a project I finished a couple of years ago. I constructed a stone wall with stone quarried on the property in a beautiful South Gippsland location. It was before I started videotaping the process of my construction techniques, but I did take a few pictures on my phone. to talk about the construction of this dry stone wall although it's not a true dry stone wall because we used a lot of concrete to hold it together all the stone for this wall was quarried on the property and we used the same stone in this wall as that was used on the house over here and most of that stone was quarried off this property as well it's very soft stone but has amazing colors and lots of interesting patterns on it due to the way it was formed geologically the owner of this property is really interested in geology and he can fill your mind full of all sorts of history about the geology of this area and how the crust folds over and formed this kind of beautiful stone. The owner wanted an S-curve in the wall to give it a bit of an organic feature. Like most of my construction projects, there's a practical aspect and also an aesthetic aspect. The practical aspect of this wall is to help stop cars falling over this cliff that's down here. Below the eagle here you can see the lake dam area and this is part of the function of this wall is to stop cars ending up in that below there. And of course the aesthetics was for it to match the house that he already had here in place. Another feature of this construction was working around this beautiful eagle sculpture. The property here is actually called Eagle Rock so the owner has a lot of eagle statues around his property. We had to remove it during the construction of our wall and then we reinstalled it later. And the owner has a bit of a fascination with eagles, with his house built on the highest hill around here. A bit like an eagle's nest. One of the other design aspects of this wall was to make it a good sitting height because of this beautiful view. This property sits on one of the highest points in this area, perhaps even the highest point. And you get panoramic views of the entire Gippsland area. So the idea was to make this wall a comfortable sitting space with a bit of an open area in front of it so you could come out here and have your coffee in the morning or enjoy this space on an evening as the sun sets. Some of the structural elements of this wall is, as I mentioned earlier, it's all made out of locally quarried stone. It's quite soft stone. So we used a lot of concrete that's hidden underneath the stone to lock it all together. Other than that, it's built primarily like a dry stone wall with a mixture of large and small stones. Here you can see how I've used a lot of large stones mixed with smaller stones to create the pattern of this wall, interlocking with each other to create a really strong structure. I get lucky with a lot of my jobs around here because I end up in really beautiful scenic areas as I'm doing my construction. So it makes it a lot easier to go through all the hard work it takes to build a wall like this in such a beautiful setting. So not only was this wall made out of local quarried stone, the owner himself worked as my labourer through this project and mixed all the concrete we used to hold this together. He also personally picked out every stone we can see and had favourites that I've placed throughout the wall in primary locations.
Let's take a look back at some of the photos I took on my phone of the construction process of this wall. Yeah, building a wall here, it's beautiful. You vista. My client conveniently had a tractor with a bucket, which we used extensively throughout the project to help move the really heavy large stones around. I'm gonna rebuild a dry stone wall along this front edge of the property. It's a beautiful property here. I'm going to use all this rock. The first thing we had to do was deconstruct the old stone wall that was kind of rough and needed to be removed before we could start our new wall. I'm going to keep this original part of the wall because Gary built this wall himself. I want to keep a little bit of the original. My client had constructed his home out of local stone about 10 years ago and had always planned on finishing it off with a dry stone wall along his driveway. After completing the clearing of the old wall, we added a small foundation extension to the edge of the driveway. This is where our wall's gonna start. The next day, we added ag pipe for drainage. This will help keep the wall stable over the long term. We also set the line that's gonna define the shape of the wall. My client wanted an S shape, so it would tie into the surrounding hilly landscape. Playing rock down with the bulldozer. After using the tractor to bring up some stone from the local quarry and laying all our tools out and a protective covering for the driveway, we got started with cutting our first stones. Now all my batteries run out, so I'll take a break, but almost all the way through that one. Thank you.